Hey, so I've got my Emacs configured, so I actually have uh, line numbers and the font I want and syntax highlighting. So let's go from here. So last video, we did a simple hello world. Let us make a little tweak on this one. Instead of hello world, we're going to do, um, let's have some variables. Okay. So we still need a function, fn. It'll be the main function. Uh, we're still not going to take any arguments. We still need a pair of braces to open and close the thing. And we still want to print lin some string. This is what we're still going to do. Uh, the string, we'll say, is hello variable. Rusty variables. How about that? And what we wanted to do is just let something equal something. So like let x equals 1, 2, 3. There you go. And we can let y equals 4, 5, 6. And x and y. So these little pairs of braces should put it put the th arguments positionally there, right? So I should be able to rough to see my new hello variables. And there's an executable. And there you go. Hello, rusty variables, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and we, of course, can do math with this, so we can let z equals x plus y. And we can do that in here, too. Let's rebuild this. And there you go. 1, 2, 3 plus 4, 5, 6 equals 5, 7, 9. So that works. All right, so that is variables. The next thing we can do is let's do a float. Let f equal one two three dot four five six. Let g equals seven eight nine dot zero one two. All right, and let's let h equal f plus g. All right. And then we can just print those as well. All right. So instead of hello rusty variables, we can do hello rusty floats. And instead of xyz, we're going to have fgh. Let's reload that, recompile, and then there you go. So that shows floats and I guess those are integers. Some sort of, I can't remember what they call them, actually. Probably I32s, if I remember right. Um, now here's where things will get funny, right? What does... So there's floats, there's and so what is gonna what is this gonna be, right? A equals F plus X. And does this work? And it gives me a nice kaboom because it doesn't know how to add a float to an integer. That's what this is saying to me. And it's a very actually helpful error message. Um, that's something that's been nice in Rust from what I've seen so far. Let me 
make this bigger. So yeah, the error message, really easy to read in here. It's just saying straight up, I cannot add an integer to a float and telling you the line number to go to. If you notice, I have line numbers turned on now in my MX, and it's just saying, hey, right here, line 12, um, line 12, and literally with the thing, and pointing right there to the plus. And also, my Emax, so helpfully, also tells me that. If you can see, there's like a little red squiggle thing happening underneath the plus. There we go. I can say x as a f32, a 32-bit float. f already is a float32. So I have to explicitly say I want my x to be an f32.